This is untrue. It's true. I've got a twinge of me. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. <sighs> Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. Fine sailor. Don't age. Age. You can see. more serious. More grave somehow. I need to have more than his share of concerns. Shh, he's coming. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. That settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amira's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. 
Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven once. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. Yes? Look familiar. I am a Was it killing that wolf? Did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs? They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Solomon, where's Ermian? to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to eat the black ones? I'd sooner eat the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Jarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Pathetic.
Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet. All against Crack's will, or fail. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermion. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm, not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Uh, gods protect us. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, hey, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gavorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Ha! 
can tell by your mug I was right. And to think, didn't take you for a looter at first. I just want to look around the cavern. Research. Research? Writing an adventure novel. Gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Prime idea. Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Uh, got a sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the White Whale. It'll show today. I'm sure of it. I'd rather verify him now. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You've something of a persecution complex. You needn't come with us. I hadn't intended it. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there. To retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Wanna just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Yes? Yes, Geralt? Your earring, am I right? Wait a second. Yes. Lost it years ago. Where did you find it? Kaer Morin. In a bed. You know the one. Ah, yes. The good old days. I ever tell you you're beautiful when you blush? Mm-hmm. Back then, like I said, the good old days. All my favorite earrings. I can wear them again now that I have both. Thanks, Geralt. So, there you were in Putrid Grove, and out of nowhere I show up. What did you think? Honestly? Oh no, not him again. <laughs> Figured as much. You weren't easy to find, you know. You'd recovered your memory. Found Yennefer, so... Naturally... I thought the two of you... But it turned out my amnesia changed nothing. Wanted to be with you. Before, during, after, always. I know that now. So long, Triss.
Witch up. What a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. We are at war, if you've not noticed. I've noticed. I can see the smoke from burning huts miles away. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritium shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ardskellig. We can take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports. But have it your way. Let's go. Yennefer. She'll be here soon, and she's sure to want to talk to you. I don't doubt it. Just wonderful. I say, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did. I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damned thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. So how do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Ready. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Siri, I think. 
There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a fivesome, there's clearly no room. What now? It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Jennifer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Amir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her, so once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. This deal with Emir. It's sorcerer's business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can if the need arises. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion... A ridiculous bauble. Don't make me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Arahan Luma! Uh -huh. That means the Sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors.
Last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. You'll like Nilfgaard, no two ways about it. I recommend the fresh alpine air of Nazaire. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. Triss might object. Ah, yes. So give Yennefer some friendly advice, would you? She'll listen to you. You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom? Or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do. Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yatta Ligon! I'll take care of it. <laughs> like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? 
rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow it doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like. Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Yen. Genealogical chart of the Enhani Care, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalak has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Forget this. Not like we're gonna learn anything new. How can you know? I don't wish to read this either. sure know their fragrances. Hmm. Mirror standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. How did you get in here?
We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tir Naliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Siri, let's get out of here. No, I want to listen. He said you shared Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. He hates me so deeply. Why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. There, that's better. Let's get out of here.
Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You're sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Graveyards, not my favorite either. Why not? Remind me of work. Never been to a cemetery to visit someone's grave. Always hunting some ghoul or rot fiend. <sighs> Frankly, I'd rather have come here with a contract to do some witch's work. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. I think the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. <laughs> Bastards. What? In the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. <laughs> Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofoten to ash? What would the Spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Aye. None will disturb it. Desecrating graves... Well... It's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go.
about a minute? Of course. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. When the wee oh. bears attacked. Yippee! The witcher killed a monster! Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop flexing like that. You're making me nervous. Ramen supper, I Do never You know what refused. I just realized? Boring as fuck. Except for the two of us in the series. Geralt has slept with every woman on this ship. Don't worry. It's only a matter of time in your case. How are you feeling? Better. I thank you. If you'd not arrived in time, things might have ended considerably worse. I am your debtor. Thank Yennefer. It was her idea, her plan. Thought Margarita Loantil would be among the last to get nabbed by witch hunters. Were it dependent solely on me, of course I would have. But you forget I had my students to consider. I knew the hunters would eventually reach Aratusa. It was but a matter of time. So when I heard Triss was organizing escapes to Kavir, I saw no reason to hesitate. I gathered my novices and we rode here to Novigrad. Sadly, we were caught and thrown in Dayrath before I could contact Triss. Didn't see any other sorceresses in there with you? Because they'd already been executed. Burned. Alive. One after the other. The most talented girls in the North. Radovid was saving me for last. If you're here, what's become of Eratusa? The day I arrived in Novigrad, I received a message from Beruta Ikati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burn. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Vivero. The rest are dead. It is over. Later I learned priests of the Eternal Fire stood amidst the Academy's ruins, promising the rabble that such a punishment awaited all mages and traitors. Farewell, Rita. Well, what is it? No need to thank me, Philippa. Always glad to save your ass. You're welcome. You stood to gain. That is why you saved me. Where's Saskia now? She managed to free herself of your spell? I lost control of her when the war broke out. I've no notion where she is. I know you used her, but couldn't escape the impression that you actually cared for her in some way. Really? Way back when, did you really send assassins after Dijkstra? You believe I... Do you not remember we were once lovers? Maybe it's just me, but I think you'd consider that in itself to be reason enough. Actually, I've long wondered why you parted, quarreled even. Ah, <sighs> you see, Geralt, there are those who keep politics separate from their private lives, and those who do not. Which one was Dijkstra? The more boring of the two. Farewell. Make a fine sailor, till the puking set in. Yes, Geralt? Cantarella. Who is she, really? She mentioned you knew each other. You ran into her. Her real name is Carthia van Canton, Asira's former collaborator. She's very... talented. Spied for you? <laughs> Not just for us, probably. I doubt she wishes any harm upon me or other sorceresses, but one must be very careful what one says in her presence. Seemed like you told her quite a lot about me. You ought to feel flattered, then. That makes you famous on both banks of the Yoruga. You look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I'd told him everything, he'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time now. So long. We looked around your laboratory. I never doubted you would. But why did you? You might have just asked me. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. 
I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, oh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. <laughs> Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eridan believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later, and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri. And you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did. And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Yen, can we talk? Why? So you can ask me if we can remain friends despite all? No, I... I mean... Come now, Geralt. I know you. Well enough to know exactly what's going on with you and Triss. Now, I cannot say I'm not tempted to... Hmm... Intervene, but... I believe I'll let it lie this time. How about that? You came here to fumble your way through an explanation, yet instead of enjoying the show, I went and did your job for you. Seems so. But now, enough of this maudlin business. We've something to do, remember? Thanks, Yen. See you later. Yes, Geralt? Still haven't explained why we need to mess around with this subterfuge instead of just killing girls. Because we would gain nothing in the short term. And we might not live to see the long term. With girls, it is not what he does on the battlefield, but beyond it. He manipulates, lies, keeps the NL in check. Remove that pawn from the board, and you won't change the outcome of the match. Keep it there. And you could use it to change the rules. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. 
Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. So maybe you're hoping to gain control of Lara herself, after all these years? Lara is dead. My only hope is that Ciri will fulfill her calling and survive. Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eredin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaving him long before he was born. For centuries, I... Brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. From the look of things, pretty soon Ciri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, There'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. That's nice of you. 
you are about to explain your plan? It's simple, which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. Wow, Amir's being generous with his resources. He's halted his entire Skellige campaign to help us. Not doing it just to be nice, believe me. He's doing it for the same reason we all are. Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Zirel recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you'll do the same. Zirel. Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive. Speaking from experience there, ultimately she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers. Chris, everything all right? Yes. I, I just wanted a moment to talk to you before... before it begins. Chin up. The hunt's weakened. We've got... No, no more about the battle. Just hold me and say something nice. Hmm. There's a lighthouse not far from here, you know. Geralt. Are you suggesting we... No. Well, at least not right now. Just wanted to say... Wanted to say that since... Since Novigrad, whenever I see the beam of a lighthouse, I feel good thinking of you. Unbelievable. You said something romantic. You, Geralt of Rivia. Moment of weakness. Well, none of those during the battle, please. If anything should happen to you. I'll manage. You always say that. I haven't killed me yet. Well, except for that one time. Ah, uh, Geralt, you're so charming when you try to be funny. Try? Take it back. That was a great joke. <laughs> sure. I love you, you know. You trying to make me cry? Siri would never let me forget it. Go on, get.
Looks like you're making progress. Mm-hmm. Slow, but gradually forward. Got a minute? Of course. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. <laughs>